Hell, they got one core who deep pushes. <laughs> like, yeah. Uh, maybe you can count Soul Ring Omni Knight, but overall, the early game looks like it might be there for the taking. That has been the strength of the Breast of Man so far in this series. Well, and the last we are pick is in there, be baby. Lord. Oh my goodness. I mean, it's like Tide Hunter, but better. I, I really this. like this choice. I, I think that you had a really good point there. They're going to go. All right. Good play there. And we'll see if they can cut them off. Hello. Hi, guys. How you doing? <laughs> so you're going to take a little trip through the river. And Zayek actually going to be found. Going to be caught. And Slayer gets a three-mana pail. Not bad, but it's going to come at the cost of at least the Bane's life as he accepts his fate. And they give the kill over to our sniper. Very well played. This bounty rune also still there for one. He's yeah. trying to get level three too. I wonder if he'll keep his ice path to try and cancel the TP here. Or if, oh, uh, that would be the play. Zero. No, he ended up going for second point in dual breath. Yeah, That's belly. a lot of damage. Burrow? Maybe? Yeah, they connect with it. They have the stun to follow. It's a lot of damage now onto the Bane. Another big impale coming up, but Zayak is going to fall. And now the real you also in trouble. Maybe going to be brought down, and that is going to be another kill going their way. Vega Squadron lose to another three person impale. Dude, his players get the value. Gamer. Unreal. This arcane rune. <laughs> it is. It is value. He's going to oh, have another one here as well. Kill him, answer. Oh, going to be able to find it. So a double kill for the Venge. Really helped the sniper through the first couple levels, and then the raindrop just doing so much work for Mr. Sniper. And I guess that even though you've gotten PA who's who's been able to soak up and pick up a lot of net worth for herself, it doesn't address the big problem that Vega Squadron has, which is that once these abilities all come online, as we're gonna see the Jakiro most likely brought down. Sonic Wave uses all kill mancer trying to turn this now, seeing if they can take down the Nyx, they will be able to do that. But the big problem that you have is once this push comes, how do you stop it as Vega? Yeah. Missed opportunity from Freshman, so like bring the sniper down for nothing kinda sucks. Should have like Freshman so much mid tower. Uh top lane, they are doing this again. They're getting the Underlord. I think it's really important. To stop him oh. from getting those auras. Yeah. Way? You're in trouble, my friend. Yeah, get out of there. Run away. Uh, he's going to be okay. He TP'd back to the tower, too, so oh, not going to miss on lanes. Oh, my God. Look at the bench. Super low HP, but ends up sticking around long enough. And the real you going to get hit by both of those nukes. He's taking a lot of damage. So bad, Still has though. the sticks, though. Yeah, so bad. Going to end up paying the price. And, oh, Vega... Fighting back in this trial lane, what was looking so bad before is starting to actually look a lot better now. And uh, Killamancer, he ends up going down. Bottom lane, last hero getting punched. And maybe going to go down. Purification, not quite there. Oh, the save afterlife now being blocked a little bit by those creeps. And maybe going to look for another snipe. I uh, doesn't want to go for it. Mid lane might be more action. Yeah, they Because they have tower? found the Fiend's Grip and Sniper... Well, get Sonic Wave so bad, also in trouble. The Impale is there, and they are starting to fall apart. Resto Man's not able to deal with the aggression from Vega. They get the deny, too. So, that, probably going to have to go for a Veil this game to try and deal with this sort of aggression. So, things, uh, you know, you're not out of the woods yet, quite yet, for Vega. But, did way you, further uh, ahead than I expected. Did you see the item that uh, Omni Knight just picked up? Uh, oh, his Midas? No, Akaya. Oh, oh, mid lane though. Jakiro's gone. The Fiend's grip use. Yeah, Kaya's and pretty sick. Swap out. Stun. Oh, we able to disjoint that one. Great play there by the Bane. So it pretty much does everything for an Omni. Oh, there's actually still more for Bane. Yeah, Slayer gets another three person impale. The Sonic Wave. Oh, the plays. Vega, are they going to be able to do enough, though? Can they be able to find this kill? Last hero still very low, but not dead yet. Raindrops again saving lives. And, well, Afterlife almost able to save his buddy. The real Need youth still living. Kill. They have no more uh, repel, but they do have a purification. The turnaround, it's going to be there. Oh, he misses the, the Guardian. Guardian Angel, it doesn't connect, but it's not going to matter. They still have more than enough damage. Afterlife still trying to turn this. I think, though, that with that Guardian Angel not connecting... That might be the nail in the coffin. Oh, that would have been so huge if they could have kept Aloha Dance alive. That's the Sanjin cool. Kaya would actually be so sick. That would be pretty awesome. Top lane, Fiend's Grip onto a Sand King. 
G just calculating how many spells he has to use here. Bottom lane, there's also action going as the last hero going to be brought down and killed most likely. Does have his ulti, could have maybe stayed alive, but I'll eventually Double be killed. And yeah, he eventually goes down. Yeah, he even uses his TP there. So they lose two across the map and oh, they oh, got the at the end of the day, though, afterlife. You. He ends up going down. That's a ton of gold. Fortification is level use. nine. Bane is level eight. Support is pretty highly leveled this game because of all of our group up. They actually, this is the push, I think. Vega Squadron have to be super prepared for this, and they're actually going to use the Dark Rift right away. Oh, the Sniper's going to get caught alone. Caught him for the moment. So bad needs to get into there. They actually take down another one. So Sniper going to be left alone. He is going to be brought down. Yeah. But they he... took down the Omni Knight and the Bane. I didn't like how he didn't play in the bubble. He tried to, like, run back instead, but the uh, it's the kinetic gem on the, okay. the, uh, for the gun. All right. Well... This is now the life of Vega Squadron. So there's that. Yeah. And that's pretty long range as well, being able to cast that from so far away. Assassinate. Slayer gets a two-person catch. Sonic wave out as well. Connected on to three, but the Bro Strike turnaround. Now trying to make something else of oh, this. The, the root is there on to three. It's not breaking the Fiend's Grip, but they do have the Dark Grip. Trying to get everybody the hell out. Is it going to be able to live? No! The Sniper gets away. They take down the Nyx Assassin. Killamancer still deep in the base, trying to TP out of there. And well, he's actually going to be able to Move make the it. Courier. Oh, oh my goodness. The solo pickups on the Queen of Pain. Obviously, he has like four three man impales at this point or something. And now he's in behind them again up top, but the tower's too low to even set up any sort of a play. I mean, there is only three seconds left on the Aegis. So with this expiring. Vega could think about going in for something. A lot of pings in the area. Aegis expires. Vega. Up instantly to see if the Nyx is around and it works. They catch on to him. Sonically, they pull back in one. That's the Bane in a lot of trouble, but they've already blown up so bad. Jakiro gone from this fight. I don't know if they can take this any further. They're waiting to stun PA if she blinks in. They don't oh, have a Vega's Dark Grip. Bro Strike is there. Catching on to two. Is it going to be enough damage, though? The Guardian Angel comes out, and now they don't have enough damage really at all. Killamancer trying to dodge away from G, but G still has him in the sights. Afterlife caught. But it looks like that might need to be the end of it. G finds the kill and they try and back out. Yeah, there's the <coughs> Ultra went home. And they find that they need a lot of crits here. Oh, oh my god, just barely away. <laughs> 6,000 net worth up. And, well, uh, they're going to be able to force everybody back again. There's TP back from Killamancer, so the top lane's going to keep pushing. But. Restomans need to find an answer for this. They were looking so far ahead for so long, and now they caught again. Burrow Strike only connects onto one because the Repel was there from G, keeping him still alive, and the Sonic Wave comes out, still surviving. The Underlord eventually brought down by G. He's taking a lot of damage with that aggressive blinking, and, well, the caught nightmare. again. The Nightmare saving his day, but not enough. And now, looking for even more. Killamancer, can they find the kill? Well, they wanted to get him. Oh, bro, into the Repel. <laughs> He bit off more than he could chew there, buddy. Team? Now Team? they jump forward. Venge, what have you done? Oh, God. Oh, the throws. All right. I think, think that this is, I, I think this is over. Like, triple kill there. Four dead. 40 seconds, no Venge. Only the Jakiro is remaining. This is looking terrible. He's a Lincoln screen now, so it's a little bit tougher, but they just need to make sure that he doesn't get caught splitting like that. So bad. Maybe gonna get found and punished here. They have the impale from Slayer. Killamancer gets the stun. They are going to lose the Nyx Assassin, I think. Nice Yule Scepter lift up, keeping back Zayak. But they've already used Assassinate. Seems unlikely they're gonna be able to find that much more. The PA gets the blink away. Burrow strike out yet again. They're dropping so freaking low. The Nightmare saves his life, but Slayer might pay the cost. And they lose a one for one exchange yet again. Be able to TP to join the rest of his team as they strike through the bottom or top lane rather and now we're hitting the tower the call comes out for mid race? i think they do yeah i wonder if you just go thrown even i don't even think you go for megas i mean they can kind of do what they want and they also have the dark rift still available yeah so the tier three tower is going to start to fall and they're actually going to jump into the middle of all of this they have the Dark Rift, going to use it. Four step. Oh, they left the sniper behind. Great four step play there. That's going to be the death of the sniper. Huge play. Who is it? 
Yep, yeah, Slayer's the king. He's had such a good game, honestly. He just does it again. Very nicely done. He has no buyback, and that's the answer to a team that's super annoying and forces you to come back and play like that, and they just disappear. Because they only got the tier 3 mid. Like, that was a really solid tactical play from the Bresto Mans, but that one little play with the four staff kind of ruins it all. A uh, oh. play that you'd think would be low risk ends up being Radiant extremely high risk. And the sniper, he's only about 100 gold away from buyback right now, and... Oh, God, it's got to hurt so bad. Sonic Wave, it's out to Slayer play. Every damn day, they buy back on heroes. It doesn't matter. Radiance middle barracks has fallen. Radiance that is insanity. And now, with the mid lane of barracks dead, Killamancer wanting to do something, anything. But it's just not happening. It looks like Vega Squadron are going to be able to take this. Three dead, no buyback. When Brestomance had the game, what it felt like in hand in game number two, they threw it all away and now also throwing it away here. Last year is still surviving, but they do lose the Ventral Spirit. And I think that's going to be it. Oh my god. Actually insane. I can't believe that. He played so well this game on Nick's Assassin. That's unreal. Very, very well played inside of Vega Squadron. Yeah, it's pretty nuts. And uh, it's not elimination.